Oh, today we are learning the Chinese characters' evolutions. <clears throat> In long, long time ago, Chinese people were not keen to recording important things. So these pictures showing the thing for numbers. You can saw them. This means one hundred. This means one thousand. This is ten thousand, and this is one hundred and thirty. In the later Shang Dynasty, around two three thousand years B.C., we have the oracles. The oracles means the characters was uh, sailed on the ox bone or tortoise shoulder. In the later Shang and uh, Western Zhou Dynasty, around. One thousand and three hundred to two hundred one, uh, two hundred and nineteen BC. We have another one, new version of the characters. We call them Brownware script. Uh, Jinwen. You can see there come from those stuff. Later, Zhou Dynasty and uh, until World State period, we have this developed Chinese character shaped. We call them Da Zhuan, large cell script, because some of them was discovered in those kind of shape. It looks like a jump made by stone, so we also call them stone jumped. Scribe, Shi Gu Wen. And、uh, in the Qin Dynasty, you know,、uh, the Qin Dynasty, the ending the World Eight period, they conquer all the other countries. And the Qin Shi Huang, the first Chinese emperor, he unit all the country. Uh, from then on, he found out. If we still using the million ten shape, the Chinese character is not good. It's not easy for his order to from the central government to every、uh, place in the country. So he makes the decision that all the country using the same Chinese、uh, writing cipher system. So we call them the Xiao Zhuan, small cell script. And from then on, the Chinese characters have the have stable shapes. But the small cell script is not easy to write. And、uh, when the 
social developed, and uh, there have so many informations have to be delivered. Uh, those uh, lawyer level, uh, lawyer level officials, when they copy the document, they find out that maybe uh, making the characters more strictly and easy to write down, and maybe more simple way to. Making the characters writing, so they invent invention the Li Shu official scribe, as in the, during the Han Dynasty. But、uh, the Qin Dynasty is not existed too long, and after that, it's the Han Dynasty.、Hmm. And from Han to Tang Dynasty, you can find that the characters has a little more、uh, developed. In the Han Dynasty, it's more fat, and、uh, going to the Tang Dynasty, still it mean more thin, and、uh, the writing tools also developed, so the shape of the character have a little change. And、uh, after the Tang Dynasty is the Song Dynasty, in the around. One thousand forty-five, the mobile type printing scale technology has been invented, and、uh, for that reasons, the Chinese character shape、mm, need to be more standard and more easy to recognize. So from then on until now, the type Chinese characters. Font has not too much changed. So, last one, let's we will review all the Chinese character shape develop. Can you find out which uh which font for which history period, or you can call their name in Chinese.